One of the trickiest things to do, I would say, is selling a house to a family member because you can't charge family member full price. I mean, think about it. If you were gonna sell your house to a family member, would you charge them full price? In this video, we'll cover how to sell a house to a family member. But the real question should be how to sell a house to a relative and maintain a good relationship afterwards. Doing this is tricky business, but let's dive into some tips to make sure that it's a win-win for both parties. Selling your home to a family member is a great way to simplify the process of finding a buyer, but it adds a few elements to the mix and there's a high potential for family feuds. The first thing I recommend you do before you do anything is hire a professional realtor like myself. I'll start a home appraisal or CMA to get the appropriate value of the home. Have this done early with your family members so that way you guys can reach a sale price that is appropriate for both of you. How do you transfer the property title? There are several ways to transfer the ownership of a home to a family member. Number one, a special warranty deed. This type protects the family member from any issues that you had while you owned the home. The second type is a general warranty deed transfer. It ensures all your property rights are transferred transferred to your family member, which legally ensures both your past and future actions against the property. Number three, a quick claim deed transfer, which only transfers your property's interest to your relatives, but does not protect them from any legal claim. As you can see, each type of way to transfer your ownership really depends on your specific needs so make sure you consult with a professional lawyer. How much does it cost to transfer a property title? The cost depends on the method you use and if you hired a professional to help you. The transfer fee that you typically pay depends on the value of the home. Can a house be gifted to a family member? Of course you can gift a home to a family member, but always consider Uncle Sam. As of late 2020, you are allowed to gift up to $15,000 to as many people as you want annually without paying a gift tax. When gift a home to a friend also consider their future gains tax liability unless they live in the home as their primary residence for two years first when you sell the home the original price you paid will become the recipient's tax basis do you have to pay capital gains tax to homes that you sell to a family member regardless of whoever you sell your house to it is unlikely that you would ever have to pay capital gains taxes if you bought a home 20 years ago for a hundred thousand and you sold it to a family member today for two hundred thousand your capital gains would be a hundred thousand however the IRS allows an exclusion of up to two hundred and fifty thousand for single people and up to five hundred thousand for married couples so in this example your capital gains was only a hundred thousand it falls below both the two hundred fifty and the five hundred thousand IRS exclusion so in this case you wouldn't have to pay capital gains tax. Can you sell a house to a family member for $1? You can, and it works similar to gifting your home to a relative, but it may end up costing you if you're too generous. Can parents gift their home to their children? Parents can gift their home to their children, but they may be subject to estate and gift tax. Can you buy a house from your parents for less than market value? Yes, you can purchase the home for less than market value, but that discount may be subject to estate and gift tax depending on the amount. If you're considering selling your house to a family member and want a smooth transaction with no stress, my contact information is below. If you felt that you've got any value out of this video, I'm gonna ask that you please like, share, comment, and we'll see you on the next one.